I am going to show you how to use this Top Dawn Art of Battery 101. It's a diagnostic tool for checking the status, health status of the battery. I'm going to test the batteries in three different vehicles with this unit. Um, car right behind me, my daily driver, uh, an old van that I have, a work van, and I'm going to test a brand new battery that is in my son's car. This unit has a very nice little quick and easy set of instructions to go through. So let's just leave them over here and let's go through the test procedure. All right. So red connector obviously goes on the positive post of the battery, which has this red cable attached to it. This is my daily driver, by the way. I use this car every day, so let's see what kind of reading we get. This goes on the negative post. Over here. Okay, we see the little screen coming up. Top down, 12.52 volts. Let's see what our instructions tell us. Ah, okay, so you got to hit the OK key to start. Don't know if it actually said that. But anyways, we got the OK. Hit the OK on that. Test in vehicle. Like, yes, that is what we were doing. Select charge before charge. All right, after the battery location selected, test will prompt to select the battery charge state, before charge or after charge. Well, we're gonna say this is after charge. Let's see, select charge. Let's see, after charge. I hit the arrow down key there. Hit the okay key. Select type, regular flooded. I'm just going to arrow down here to see what we got. Okay, this is going to be regular flooded. Most vehicle batteries are. Select OK. CCA, cold cranking amps. We can see it over here. Cold crank, 0 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 18 Celsius is 730. It's actually about 0 degrees Celsius here today. So we're going to hit an OK on that. Set the rating and we're going to put that to 730. I'm assuming the up arrow key here. Looks like it goes up in increments of 5. Oops. When I hold it down it goes a lot faster. Let's just... 730. OK. Hit the OK button. Testing. This will be interesting. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Telling me replace. Well, certainly not going to replace it now because it starts my car every day. But I might be looking at a new battery in the in the future here. Okay, so let's see what we got next. Uh, battery system standard. Okay, let's just say okay to this. Cranking test start engine. Okay, for this part of it, I'm going to put a set of jumper cables on here so that I can start the car and watch this tester. I'm going to connect this tester to it. Definitely do not do that. I'm going to take my chances for the purpose of this video, but if those jumper cables I connect here and then to this short out, I wouldn't, I'm going to blow this battery and God knows what else and as far as the uh, electronic control unit or anything like that. But I don't have anyone here to start the car for me. Uh, what you want to do is just wait until you have someone to start your vehicle for you and do this. Okay, so let's do this whole test again. Now that I'm in the vehicle and we're going to do the cranking test where we actually start the vehicle. So hopefully this will come out on the screen. We know from the last time that we have to hit the OK button to start anything. English there. 
Okay. In vehicle. It is in the vehicle. Okay. Uh, select charge. Before charge. I arrow down. After charge. Hit okay. We know that we selected regular flooded. Okay. And our cold cranking amps. We're 730, I think we said. Oh, look at that. It comes up. Okay, let's go. So we'll just click OK on the 730 amps. It'll probably come back and tell us that the battery is getting weak. Hmm. I think it said that this was the state of health. Zero percent. Anyways, let's go. Uh, we'll just click OK. Cranking test. Start engine. Ah. We have started the engine. Let's see. RPM detected. Okay. I'm looking at my RPM gauge. Looks like we're uh, idling at about 1300 RPM here. Okay. Cranking. Low. Replace 95.2. 9.54 volts. Hmm. If that's what it's reading, then that could potentially be. No, I was going to say an alternator problem because we, with the car vehicle running, we should be looking at around. I think it's roughly 14 volts coming out of the alternator. At any rate, I'll be updating you with comments down below on whether this battery uh, dies soon. So we got cranking low, replace. Okay, so let's click OK. See if it tells us to do anything else. Charging test. Question mark. Sure. Okay. Loaded testing. I suspect this is going to be... Okay, increase revs. Okay, I'll bring them up a little bit. What do you want? Let's bring them up to... I don't know. 1500? Charging normal. Loaded. 14.6. Ripple, no. okay, so that's the 14 ish volts I was talking about there. So that it's uh, so our alternator is looking like it's putting out the proper amount of charge. So that's good, I don't care. I'll get a battery for 100, 150 bucks Canadian, whatever. Gotta get a relatively big one because this is a big car, it's a 300 uh, Chrysler. All right, uh, let's just say okay to that. Um, okay, maybe that's it. I'm gonna release the accelerator. And charging normal. Okay, I think that's the end of this test. Let's connect up our Arda Battery 101 here. There's our little menu that we saw before. Let's see if I can move around here. And we're going to hit the OK button. And language, English, OK again. Test. Okay, this is what we did before was in vehicle. I'm going to hit arrow down, out of vehicle. OK. Select charge before charge. This is actually after charge because this, uh, this car has been use regularly after charge okay regular flooded okay cold cranking amps 730 okay again now I'm hoping this is actually gonna fail because yep chain replacing a battery is not a big deal but if this test passed, I would be then concerned that I had some kind of a problem in the electrical system of the car. So anyways, I'm uh, going to mention here that SOH, state of health, 52%, obviously not very good. And this was the state of charge, 98%. Now I'm going to test my old van. See how the battery is in this vehicle. There's our little welcome screen. 
Okay, English, okay. In vehicle, okay. Arrow down to after charge, okay. Regular flooded, okay. Cold cranking amps for this battery is 850. All right, okay, so I say okay to that and get that to 850. 850. Oops, down one, 850. Okay. Testing. State of health, zero. State of charge, zero. And it says replace. Well, this is the battery that was in this van when I bought it three years ago. This is a 2007 vehicle. Replace. Okay to that. Start engine. RPMs detected. Cranking low, replace. Okay, charging test. Okay. Increase the revs. Normal. 14.6. All right. I'll take my foot off the accelerator. Now I'm going to test a known good battery. This is my son's little Toyota Echo, and he put a new battery in this about less than two months ago. So here's our usual menu. English, okay. It's an in-vehicle test. Uh, we are going to select after charge after charge okay regular flooded okay coal cranking amps on the battery are 540 so oops shoot arrow back up to coal cranking amps okay 540 because i did this before okay Testing. State of health, 100%. State of charge, 98. Good battery. That's the key thing. I wanted to see what that result was on a new battery. Say okay to that. Cranking test, start engine. One moment. I'm gonna okay so that's cranking normal 11.36 say okay to that charging test okay increase the revs I'm gonna do it right here Everything is normal, as it should be on a new car with new battery, and looks like his alternator and everything is good. Okay, so that's it for this video. I gotta say, this is a pretty uh, handy little unit. You know, it's small, easy to use, and uh, this was the one I was curious about. What it would actually read on a, as I say, a known good battery, because that battery, as you can probably tell, is new. Anyway, hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.